Hey, what's going on? Daniel here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have something really special for you because I will be walking us through how to create a landing page and connect your domain on ConvertKit. I've done this video before and that was based on system.io, but of course, there's so many tools out there that does the same thing, almost similar things. And if you are that person who loves ConvertKit, like I realized that a lot of people do recently, I this video is gonna be really helpful for you. So I'm gonna walk us through how to create a landing page, uh, to collect emails or to sell products, whatever that is, how to connect that to your domain, how to create a thank you page and things of that nature. So this video is going to be really helpful. So stick around for that. Also, I wanna make a correction this video because in my last video that I did on ConvertKit versus System.io, I made a claim there which isn't true. I now realize uh, that on ConvertKit, you can actually track your conversions uh, from a landing page uh, through to the thank you page um, if you decide to run paid ads. So that is not true. With ConvertKit, you can actually have a thank you page, which wasn't the case before, but I'm now making this video to update that claim and to just set the record straight. Let's get right into it. So here is my ConvertKit account. I've just made this account. It's a free trial just to go into it. I may start using it soon, who knows, but I've been really just playing around with it and I just wanna make this video uh, because you can actually create a Landing page if you go on that to the grow section of the you know navigation tab you see landing pages and forms and when you click on that it brings you to this page where it says landing pages or forms so you want to click on create landing page that's what you want to do so when you click on that it's going to take you to this page right here where you have all types of templates that you can select from and maybe just edit to your needs as it suits you uh, but here we're just going to do a very simple email collection templates that we can use to collect our emails and I'm gonna choose this right here I think it's really beautiful so let's choose that uh, so all right so we we've come here it's it's called Cedar landing page the first thing we want to do is to change this to whatever name that you want we can call it test landing page boom good so now that you've, you've done that, you want to come around here, you can edit as you like. Uh, the good thing is you can change the pictures, you can change the editing, you can change you know, the font, the boldness, everything is very changeable. Uh, first name, last name, email address, you can uh, switch it around as you like, move that around. It's pretty simple. If you've used any landing page building software, it's very similar to that. Only that here, it's even more simpler, I should say, and that is how you build your landing page uh, there isn't a lot of like drag and drop and you know convert key because I just wanted to like get straight to it so now that you've done that you want to add another page if you want to have like a thank you page then you can add page you go to the tab there it says add page and it automatically calls it a thank you page because that is really what you want so thank you for signing up you can edit this as you want as well and add whatever message that you want to add in there so uh, I think that's that's pretty much all you can do landing page and thank you page they, they, they they're not doing like upsells and cross sells and things that you can get you know platforms like click funnel system io and all of this you know really robust software that's been around for a while so on the thank you page you can just change things around like i said so let's go to the settings here for the thank you page um here it says general so when a visitor subscribes to your page what do you want them to do of course you want to redirect them to the thank you page so normally if you have a thank you page you want to redirect Direct them to the thank you page if you have more information on the thank you page or you can redirect them to an external page you just come right here and add your domain name the I mean the website URL for the external URL but in this case you want to redirect them to the thank you page also if you come to the domain name as you can see right here we don't have any custom domain name I'll be showing you how you can do that as well also incentive if you want to send them an incentive maybe a downloadable PDF or uh, a lead magnet uh, you can send that to them using the incentive uh, function you go to advanced uh, change what's shown to return visitors who have already subscribed to the form so if people have already subscribed you can show them something else you can hide the form you can show a custom content I mean you can type something there to show that hey you've already subscribed in the past uh, it's time to do something else and if you come here to the SEO and an Analytics, you connect your Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Facebook. If you want to track with Facebook Pixel, you can do all of that stuff here, which is really good. So 
Uh, that's that about creating the landing page. It's pretty straightforward. It's not as you know technical as you might think. So now that we've done that, what do you now want to do is to connect your domain name, which is really what you want to do here. You want your landing page to have your domain name so that you seem like a very serious business. People come to your website, they're not seeing something that ck.page you know whatever that is so what you want to do now is to go to settings you want to go to settings and you want to go to domains and right now we have a converted domain as the default now i want to add a custom domain now if i go to my namecheap account i have a bunch of domains there that we can use as a as an example in this video i have this domains that i have revive health hq whatever that is i use that as a test in one of my previous videos i have a lot of domain names and i'm, not, and I'm pretty sure you do too if you're into like uh you know online marketing you have a ton of domain names so i'm just going to delete everything else that we have here so now you want to go to advanced dns and when we come back here we're going to type in our domain name which is revive health revive health hq dot com and where do we want that domain name to point to we want it to point to our test landing page landing page that we created previously we wanted to point to that now this is where it gets interesting what you want to do now is to add this records you want to add an a record three a records to your to your name cheap account so you come to your name cheap and you click on add a new record when i add an a record in the host you want to type in the at symbol and you just copy the ip address do that you create a new a record you type in that you copy the next ip address you paste it there and you create a new a record you type in the add sign, then you copy the final IP address. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to paste it. So we want to save all changes. So that is all you need to do. Copy the three A records. Uh, that means the three IP addresses. Create a new A record on Namecheap. Put it in there and you save all three so right now you want to click on validate but that i mean there's a very good chance that it's not been validated yet because it takes about 20 to 30 minutes with convert kit it might take about an hour but once you do that as you see double check your dns records so we don't expect it to be validated yet but when you come here um in an hour or so it should say verified 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 so then you will be able to point your domain name to that landing page that you've built and the bad side the downside is that you can only do one at a time you cannot um have like um like a slog say revive health hq forward slash something 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 that points to you know a different a uh, points to a different landing page that you create on on ConvertKit. So that is how you do that with ConvertKit, how you create your landing page and then point your domain name to that landing page. If this video has been helpful, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you want to make more content on ConvertKit, let me know as well in the comment section. And again, thanks for watching. Help you subscribe. My name is Daniel and I will see you in the next video. Take care now.